Good morning. Good morning. Hey, everybody. Hi. Come on in. It is Eva here, AmazingMeMovement.com website and the Facebook page of the same name, Amazing Me Movement. Come on in. Let me know that you can hear me okay. I know you can see me. So let me know that you can hear me before we get started. And as usual, as you're coming on in, please tell me one thing you are really grateful for today. Sorry I missed you guys yesterday. I don't really have a good excuse as to why I wasn't here. Actually, I just had a lot of writing around to do and a bunch of bullshit and stuff I had to do yesterday. So come on in. Let me know one thing you're grateful for. I am grateful for... Hi, Tandra. I am grateful for... What's Eva grateful for today? I'm grateful for you guys. Hi, Heather. Thank you. I'm grateful for all of you guys for always being here and showing up uh, as inconsistently as I am inconsistent uh, in my lives. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Laurie. Hi, Claire. So thank you, all of you. Hi, Alex. Thank, I'm just going to say thank you to all of you guys. I am grateful for you guys. And I want you to tell me one thing before we get started, one thing that you guys are grateful for. Hi, Lisa. Cindy, Canada. Where are you coming from, Canada, Cindy? Thanks, Lori. Cindy. So, Cindy, I am originally from Ontario. Hi, Gisela. I'm originally from Northern Ontario, Canada, and I am currently living in beautiful, sunny Guatemala. Where are you from, Cindy? Uh, one, is one thing you guys are grateful for, and we are going to talk about... Ah, oh, Heather, yay! Congratulations! I love that. That's so awesome. I love that. Yay, Heather. High five, girl. Way to go. Good for you. Today we're going to talk about it's inside of you already, and you're probably wondering what I'm talking about. What is inside? Uh, what is inside of you already? Happiness is inside of you already. And I'm, the reason why we're going to talk about this today is somebody made a comment yesterday. I posted, I have my new, hi Dan, I have my new self-help e-guidebook. If Lori, well actually Lori's still here, if Lori could drop the link to my book uh, in the comment thread here, that'd be really great. I'd appreciate that. So I have, so my new book is From Hell to Happiness, and it's a self-help uh, e-book guide, and somebody commented and said there's no such thing as happiness or happiness doesn't exist or he'll never find it or something like that. And I said, well, you, you can't look outside of yourself for happiness. Happiness is already inside of you. Oh, sorry, 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 shiny object syndrome. Happiness, sorry about that. Happiness is already inside of you. So if you're looking outside, hi Vanessa, Lisa, if you're looking outside of you for happiness, if you're looking for it in people, places, things, um, you know, material things, all of that stuff brings you temporary happiness, right? It fills a little void. We get in a place sometimes where we're angry or we're upset or we're sad or we're frustrated or whatever and we look to people to fill that to fix that for us we look to buy things we buy girls buy new shoes we buy purses you know maybe maybe men go buy new wallets or new ties or whatever we buy things we replace we try to it's almost like a band-aid we put a band-aid on that on that broken it's like there's a broken there's something broken inside it's like a broken piece inside of you so you put a band-aid on it and that band-aid is a material or a temporary thing that's going to, that's right Deanna the temp they're temporary fixes so it's, it's that band-aid we put that band-aid on and that band-aid is going to make everything better so there is a hole there there's and inside that hole what happens is that hole gets filled with we get filled with sadness, we get filled with regret, we get filled with um, all kinds of things like that. And, and we put a Band-Aid on that, cover that up, and think, okay, we're okay now, I'm happy again. But that, that Band-Aid eventually is going to fall off, and then you're not happy again. And then what are you going to do then? Well, you're gonna, you can't just keep replacing your Band-Aids. You have to eventually find out what it is that's going to fix that, and that 
is you. That happiness is inside of you. You need to find the things that sing, that make your heart sing, that bring you joy. You need to find the things that um, fill your life with, with passion and purpose and all of that stuff. That's up to you. That's not up to anybody else. That's not up to people, places, and things. You can't expect other people to bring you happiness. You can't do that. It's not their job. It's not their job. It's your job. It is your job to fill your void with happiness. And that happiness is already inside of you. It's there. You just have to find it. You just have to find it. That's my message for you today. That's it, short and sweet. And I, you know, and I just wanted to, to kind of talk about that and touch upon that. I am doing an angel card reading. I have chosen, uh, I don't know, messages from your angels deck. I haven't used this deck in a while, so I've chosen that deck. Um, it is an inside job, and you're right, Deanna, it does not happen overnight. It does not happen overnight. But piece by piece, step by step, a little by little, when you start finding little things that bring you happiness, and you're going to fill your, your, like your, your voids and your emptiness with more of those little things that bring you happiness. You know, maybe it's puppies and kittens. Maybe it's children. Maybe it's... Um, senior citizens maybe it's road trips maybe it's flowers maybe it's little things like that so maybe you can start a garden maybe you can um spend more time with kids maybe you can volunteer at, a, at an animal shelter see how all the, it's all those little things that bring you joy that fill your heart that you can go out and get more of to fill all those little voids you can that's what i did and you know what yeah deanna it took a long time for me to finally figure it out hi kimberly it took a long time to finally figure it out and i finally got it i finally found what brought me joy and you know what i'm going to tell you something every now and again when i'm feeling kind of grumpy or if i'm feeling kind of um not well not sad but if i'm feeling like I don't have happiness inside of me or I'm feeling like there's something missing, I'll be, you know, I'm going to be the first one to say, you know, I've reached out for temporary things to fill my voids and to fix my, my brokenness. And I've reached out for band-aids. I ain't perfect. I've reached for band-aids. We all do. But I know there's happiness inside of me and I have to come back to myself. I have to come back. I have to ground myself and center myself and remind myself of the things that fill me with joy and happiness and love. So that's my message for you guys today. So that's why I, that's I, Judy, so that's what I want you guys to do. Hi, Annette. You know, I want you to stop putting band-aids on the little broken pieces inside of you. Stop band-aiding them and start reaching in and, and seeking and feeling the happiness that's already inside of you. That's what I want you guys to do. Great. I'm done. I am going to, hello, and I'm just going to say hello, hello, Annette, hi, Shelly, Shelly, we're a little over a month smoke-free, woo-hoo, um, actually, that's a lie, I had, okay, I'm going to have confession, I had two cigarettes at a housewarming party here Saturday, and I did have two cigarettes, that was Saturday, and I haven't, I have no desire to smoke again, right, so I did fall off the, cig, the no cigarette wagon a little bit, but I'm back on it, and we're good to go. So let's do an angel card reading, and then we're going to wrap this up because, as usual, Eva has a bunch of stuff to do today, and it's actually really sunny and nice right now, so i got to get out and get to the bank and do all that kind of stuff. So let's do a reading. It's a group reading. Yay, thanks, Shelly. It is a group reading. I think I lost Lori, so I'm going to... Hang on a second. I'm going to drop the link. Yeah, she didn't. Uh, Lori popped in, said hi, and then left again. I'm going to drop the link to my self-help guide here. Um, please share it. If you know somebody that needs a little bit of, um, you know, that's struggling with something, needs a little bit of help, needs some guidance, uh, is stuck, lost, frustrated, angry, hurt, sad, whatever, please share the share the uh, link. The link is there. You can go ahead and click on it. Share the link. It's still only $16. We haven't raised the price yet. We're going to be doing that pretty soon. So it's still only $16. Um, please share that out. I'll leave in that comment. There we go. Any May birthdays? Any people here having birthdays this month? May? Happy birthday to all the May babies. 
Here's your card. Happy birthday, May babies. All right. <laughs> the card I pulled is Indriel. Oh, isn't that pretty? Let's read that. You are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants. And let me tell you something. When I was wallowing in self-pity and when I was feeling sorry for myself and when my life was crappy and I didn't know what I was doing and I didn't know where I was going and I didn't know what path to take, I started volunteering at the homeless shelter and that's what filled my emptiness with happiness and joy and love. It was then that I realized that I am a light worker. I didn't know that. I had no clue. I didn't realize that that gift was inside of me until I started volunteering and I, then it dawned on me, this is what I'm here to do. So. If you're feeling, you know what I'm going to tell you, if you're feeling sad, and I talked about this last week, if you're feeling sad, if you're feeling crappy, if you're feeling like there's no hope, if you're feeling like you're frustrated and, and anything like that, if you're not feeling happy, if you're feeling anything other than happy, go and find something, go and help somebody. Go and help somebody and cheer somebody up because when you do that, you help two people. You are a light worker. Let me read the card. Yes, you are a light worker. As such, you have always had a burning desire to make the world a better place. It is a deep calling that is beyond time and space. You are often called into service during ordinary circumstances, such as when you're shopping for groceries and someone needs your help. Right now, your life's mission is expanding so that you can reach even more people. This will, require, this will require you to make some life changes that you will learn about through your inner guidance. You are deeply sensitive to others' emotions and it is important for you to clear yourself regularly, especially after helping someone. You can call upon Archangel Michael, your other garden angels, and me, Indriel, to clear you of toxins or cords that may have resulted from your helpful efforts. You are an earth angel, and we are happy to assist you in all ways. Just ask. You're a light worker. You're an earth angel. I think we all are. A lot of us, I think, I shouldn't say a lot of us, I think some of us just haven't found our gifts yet. And some of us have found our gifts and don't know how to use it or don't know what to do with it. You know, I didn't realize when I started volunteering at the homeless mission in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada, I didn't realize that it was going to bring me all the way down to Guatemala. I didn't realize that it was going to, it was going to, um, uh, it's a motivate me to change. I was a full-time hairdresser. I was a hairdresser before my whole world took a 180. So me finding my purpose and me, and me stepping into my, my earth angel role and me becoming a light worker took me out of Northern Ontario, Canada, away from hairdressing into a freelance role, role career and helping people here in sunny Guatemala. I had no idea. You don't know where your gift is going to take you. You don't know. Feel it, embrace it, own it and release it and see where it takes you. Don't be afraid. Just let it go and see where it takes you. Your mind will be blown. It will be. All right, I'm done. That's it for me for today. I love you guys. Thank you all for being here. I may, I'm, I may do live tomorrow, but I'm not sure. We have to do. We have to go on a road trip tomorrow. So if I'm not here tomorrow, I will be back here on Thursday. So uh, happy Tuesday, happy May. Everybody have a good day. Please, the link is there for my ebook. Please share it out um, if you want to share the live. Uh, share this out too. I would I'd love you to the moon and back. I love you guys. Thank you always for being here. And I will see you uh, in a day or two. Bye from sunny Guatemala. <laughs>